Hello. Today I'm going to tie the Rainbow Trout Bar, a variation of the Niagara Shiner. The hook that I'm using is a Partridge Kerry Stevens streamer hook size 4. The threads I'm using is the Semperfly Nano Silk 18 aught and 24 aught white. First, take the metal tape, remove the backing, and place it over the hook starting at the return eye and even with the point insecure. Next, trim the tape belly shaped using straight and curved scissors. Next, take a section of the small pearl mylar tubing, remove the insert and slide it over the hook and tape so the ends are slightly past the bend Next, take the 18 knot thread, secure the back section of the mylar behind the tape. A dozen or so wraps, trim the tag, whip finish, trim. Next, secure the front section of the mylar in front of the tape with a 24 knot thread. Trim the excess, build up the thread and whip finish. Next, take the silver eyes and secure it underneath the hook between the eye and the mylar body and add head cement. Next, take a section of the white polar fiber and secure it underneath the hook behind the eyes even with the hook point. Next, take a section of the white polar fiber and secure it on top of the hook behind the eyes slightly longer than the tail. Next, take a small amount of the chartreuse ice dub shimmer fringe and secure it on top of the hook over the white polar fiber behind the eyes. Next, add the light pink polar fiber on top of the hook over the shimmer fringe and secure behind the eyes. Trim the excess behind the eyes and add head cement. Next, secure a thin section of the red polar fiber behind the eyes in the middle of the body on both sides, left and right, and trim the excess. Next, I'm going to add the pearlescent ice stub. Split the thread wax and add the ice stub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread, and spin to secure the dubbing and brush out the dubbing. Next, wrap the dubbing behind and in between the eyes, pulling the fibers back with your fingers. Secure by the thread in front of the eyes and trim the excess. Build up the thread, whip finish, and brush out the dubbing. Next, add a section of the olive polar fiber on top of the wing, slightly longer than the previous wing, and secure it in front of the eyes. Next, add the white polar fiber from underneath the hook, slightly shorter than the previous wing, in front of the eyes, whip finish, and trim. Next, pull all the wing fibers top and bottom back tight, and using the same thread wrap behind the eyes, trim the tag, and secure as a collar. Next, take two strands of olive and pearl crystal flash. Fold both strands over the thread and secure it along the side of the collar, both left and right, for the lateral line. Trim the excess slightly shorter than the longest part of the wing. Secure, whip finish, and trim. Take the red thread, wrap it over the white collar, whip finish, and trim. Next, trim the butts in front of the eyes on a taper. Start the 24 odd thread. Build up the thread, trim the tag, and add head cement to the collar. Next, I'm adding the chartreuse ice dub. Split the thread, wax, and add the ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread, and spin to secure. Brush out the dubbing, switch over to a hackle plier, and wrap edge to edge in front of the eyes and secure by the thread. Trim and brush out the dubbing. Next, add the gray polar fiber on top of the hook slightly longer than the longest part of the wing and secure. Next, add the white polar fiber underneath the hook and secure, slightly shorter than the previous wing. Next, add the peacock curl tips over top of the hook, slightly longer than the longest part of the wing and secure. Next, take two dyed gray grizzly hackle tips. Measure. You want the tips about three quarters of the length of the main wing. 
Remove the excess fibers at that point and secure them by the stems on each side of the wing, left and right. Next, trim the excess fibers on a taper and build up the thread, but finish and trim. Next, switch over to the black thread and cover the white head, whip finish and trim. Next, remove the hook, add the part markings black and red using permanent marker on each side of the wing and add head cement. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the like button to see more fly tying videos.